Hello and welcome to another Fazio Lab tour. This is the latest edition of the Fazio Lab. Here I am in my new apartment. This is my bedroom, okay? 11 and a half by 12 foot space I got. And this is what I've been able to do with it. This is my electronics workbench, okay? It's a standard just shipping table that uh, I've outfitted with some industrial shelving that's those are my racks for my equipment and uh, I got two of those benches here's my other bench and I just got my 3d printer on there right now I'm printing out one of those those uh, telescoping katanas I'm gonna see how that turns out my blue moon sign obviously but okay I have this 12 foot by 12 foot space I have one two three work surfaces. Here's my desk. It's like some 1980s desk. Got it from this lady uh, who retired and uh, it's doing just fine. I didn't have any room to sleep and so I had to put my bed up here. I got an Ikea bed and threw it uh, uh, onto, no, got, got an Ikea bed frame, threw the bed up on there and that's where I sleep. I am very, very close to uh, getting hit by my ceiling fan each time I get in the bed. So this is my little bench top vise, okay? Perfect little vise for electronics, this and that. Oh, let me show you all these lights. I got them hooked up to this switch right here on the front. Okay, we got lights for the bench, and we got lights under here. We got those LED strip lights. Ooh, pretty, pretty. Um, very standard, just like last time I'll show you my plasma bug zapper. But now I don't have to worry about Georgia Tech housing. Um, uh, trying to come in here and give me problems for that. This is, uh, <clears throat> his name is Juan Pablo. He is my shock monkey. If I can just get this string off of him. This is my shock monkey. He has red eyes. Okay. It means he's primed and ready. He's a shock monkey taser what he does and he charges through his uh butt he has a little usb port in his butt where you charge him um so that's one pablo this is the matamos mckinsey meal okay it's my self-aiming laser gun which um we got a code and it uh it's going to use a a phone that you slide in here connects via usb also got an aux cord and stereo sound for the cool laser sound effects. Okay, this is my capacitor bank. I have four of these huge capacitors and I have just the project to make with them. Just wait and find out what I make with these huge capacitors. It's gonna be crazy. Uh, otherwise, these are all my hand tool type of things. They stay on the workbench. I've got my oscilloscopes, audio analyzer, some power supply type of stuff. This is nice. This is my Tektronix mainframe. It's like having an, an entire electronics lab um, with all these instruments. And this is my really old oscilloscope. Ooh, Tektronix 7834, I love you. Tektronix storage, analog storage nonetheless. Uh, oscilloscope, and I like to use my curve tracer that I made um, like three years ago. I like to use that on that oscilloscope. Uh, again, just some part storage I got thrown up there. I like to use these bins too. And um, yeah, electronic components, taps and dies. You gotta get a drill press maybe. But um, that's what the Fazio lab looks like right now. I have, uh, I have this workspace and um, over here I got my, this is my closet my shirts ties shoes don't forget the pull-up bar what for getting swole and uh got some sheet materials and whatever so oh look at this this is my pro rack i mounted it up oh look how sturdy this is i love this pro rack so i can take all of my banana connectors they go just like this okay and my vncs this this is just i love this pro rack okay and uh 
my entire workbench. It was a huge project. And um, I live here on the second floor. It's gonna, it's gonna be uh, a real issue when I have to move out of here. I don't know how soon that's going to be. But this is my Fazio Electronics Lab and some of the equipment that I run right now. Oh wait, no, I didn't even mention this. This is just like extra parts and storage and wires. Just some miscellaneous um, stuff. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing what uh, what I have at, at the young uh, age of 21. I'm 21 years old, and this is what my lab looks like. I can't wait to see what it looks like in five years. Anyway, hope you enjoyed, and catch you next time.